Anything? Okay, okay. Jesus. Okay! What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't have an answer for you. How long were you fucking him? You don't want to know the answer to that. I already do, so just give me your answer. Before or after the baby. Carla! I don't have an excuse. Is that supposed to make it better? Sam. No, don't you fucking Sam me! Look, what do you want me to say? I mean, what answer could possibly satisfy there you? There isn't one, so just give me the truth. Sam, No, I'm... don't you fucking Sam me! I'm leaving. You're I leaving. just picked up a job. It's a few hours away in Pennsylvania. I'm leaving the deposit. It's You're fucking thousand. running away I'm again. not running away. I'm getting paid. What's the job? It's a cold case. It's a dead little boy from last year. Of all your fucking clients, you choose the local. I can't believe this. I'm, I'm leaving you the deposit. It's $2,000. It should be enough for a while. I don't want your fucking money. I want to fucking strangle you and then get marriage counseling. Well, I have to go. No, you don't. You have to stay and talk to me. You have to stay with me. No. No, I don't. Carla! When I realized they wouldn't stop, I tried to stay up or sleep down here instead of in bed. I tried medication. Nothing worked. What do you see in your dreams? Him. JJ. Recurring? What happens? He stares at me. But I can't see his face. Then he starts to scream. I can't get it out of my head. Sometimes I try to run away. It doesn't work. The screams get louder. I can feel it on the back of my neck. Cold. And angry. Other times I run toward him. Sometimes I reach him, sometimes I don't. When I do, the screaming stops. And he just lays there. Which happened last night? I ran away. Can I help you? Mr. Rob? Uh, my, my name is Carla. Do you have a minute to talk? About what? Delilah Herzl. Her son died about a year ago. She told me you were an officer. Fuck off. Mr. Rob, I'm not here. Fuck off. I'm not throwing myself into another dead kid case. Another one? Hello, 
is this Harriet? Hi, um, my, my name is Carla. I'm an investigator working in Larksdale. Um, do you have a moment to talk about your grandson? Yes, ma'am, I'm going over the older cases. Hello, sir. Yeah, um, my name is Carla. I was wondering if you have a moment to talk about your daughter. Was he alone? I can't remember whether or not he was alone. I think it was just him and his mother that night. May I speak with her? No, she, she died not long after he did. Suicide. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I wasn't able to talk to Frank. Yeah, he's a bit of a brick wall. And me without my jackhammer. In the meantime, I found these. These are the names of at least 40 other children who have disappeared in the last 35 years. I'm sure there are more, maybe double that. Why are their names crossed off? Well, those are the names I either couldn't find contacts for or who were like dear old Frankie. So most of them. It's a trend I found. No mothers left. Is that uncommon in situations like this? Well, not this common, not by a long shot. Even after losing a child? Different people handle things differently. It's uncommon to see a near 100% mortality rate in mothers that have lost their children. I mean, most of them had other children. Usually people tend to look for reasons to hang on rather than ones to let go. So what do you think this has to do with JJ? Well, I've noticed a pattern. It's largely consistent with JJ's. The kids disappear without a trace. Some of them are found a few days later, some a month, some a few hours. All of them have mysterious or indeterminable causes of death, and almost all of them are six or seven years old. So what are you thinking? You said that Frank was a police officer up until recently, right? Yeah, beginning of this year. Well, I want to see what he's got. Insight or... Paperwork, or both? I was wondering if you've got a jackhammer. Oh, fuck me. Mr. Robb, I was here yesterday. You're like a goddamn kidney stone. What do you want now? I wanted to talk to you about the September murders. I seem to recall declining that offer. I wanted your insight. I don't have any. Now fuck off. You got three seconds before I get my gun. Mr. Robb, I just need an hour of your time. I have 30 minutes before I have to change my colostomy back. Then I'll take 25. You are a goddamn kidney stone, a resilient fucking kidney stone. It started in 1986. Anything before that doesn't fit the pattern. She was the first one, Rose Musker, born in 1980. She disappeared in 1986. Disappeared between 10 and 2 a.m., alone at home with mom. The only difference is she was never found. Yeah, I came across her name. Oh, joy. What makes you think she's the first? I mean, the pattern is bodies. Middle of the night, no forced entry, no signs of a struggle. Mom said she didn't hear anything. That's consistent. Would mom be willing to talk? Sure. I'll get the Ouija board. We can hang up Christmas lights. Which was it? The retirement or the limp that made you such an asshole? The 40th child I scraped off the side of a mountain turned me into an asshole. But sciatica gave me the limp. What about the father? Not dead, but not willing. He works 
overnight over in Front Street in the church. I'm assuming they were both suspects at the time. He was our number one for a while, but, well, he had the keys, but it, nothing stuck. And what about the mother? We thought about it, but by all the evidence, it wasn't her. Hmm. I've also noticed a pattern in the mother's. Nearly 100% suicide rate, yeah. Annie was the first. Disappeared in the middle of December. They didn't find her until she thawed in March. Did they determine the cause of death? Exposure. Froze to death after she jumped off of Jagged Peak. Aptly named. A jagged Peak. What is there, an echo in here? Well, that doesn't seem right. Excuse me? Well, suicide is usually quick or painless, or both. But why would she subject herself to that much pain? Maybe it's nothing compared to the pain of losing your child. Mm, I'm not sure. It seems abnormal. Well, what the fuck is a normal way to handle losing your child? Personal connection? Fuck you. Lover? Sister. Can you maintain objectivity? I know every detail about this case because I experienced it myself personally and professionally. I remained objective before and after my niece was taken into the night by what I can only assume was the devil himself. I remained objective before and after my sister threw herself off the cliff in the middle of winter. And I remain objective to this day as my body fails and my life lingers like some resilient fucking kidney stone. My ideas are not the ramblings of some heartbroken old man. They are the conclusions of a professional investigator. The heartbroken old man just has to deal with everything afterwards. That's her rose It started it. I have JJ's file too, but it won't be any help. He disappeared, fell off a jagged peak. He was dead before he hit the ground. No footprints, no fibers, no extractable fingerprints, no DNA, except for the DNA from his mom who did his laundry. I don't understand. Well, welcome to Larksdale PD because I'm coming up on my fourth decade of this shit. We looked into everything. Pedophiles in the area, cults, just bad parenting, but nothing could explain the frequency of it. Then, a, a year later, mothers start dying by their own hand. Point is, there isn't a secret clue in these files or papers. The clue, if it exists, is with Rose wherever she is. Why? Because she's the outlier. I, I've searched through these papers and, and pages for so long. Every kid I found, all of them are shadows of Rose. I, I've been doing this so long, I'm, I'm too close. I need a new perspective. Well, I can't. I'm, I'm not being paid to solve this town. If you told Delilah what I told you... I'm not going to use her to fund this. Then take JJ's file. You have my notes there. You'll have your own. Those kids you found out about? 30. 40, probably. There are more. 117 last I checked. Plus the two or three that are going to die this year. So go. Make your own conclusions. And after you've found yourself in the same rut that I'm in, maybe we can find our way out together. Or not. You can leave, I wouldn't blame you. I'm sorry, Frank.
Mr. Musker? Sometimes. Can I help you? Got a minute? Well, I gotta tell you, this is the closest I've been to a date in a long time. My condolences. Thank you. Will anyone have any objections to you drinking on the job? No, no more than they're gonna have with me sitting here talking to you. But I keep the place pretty clean and I don't jerk around very much. So, I don't mean to sound rude, but why exactly are you here? I'm looking into the death of Jeremy James Herzl Jr. in September of last year. Are you a cop? I'm a private investigator. Well, if you're investigating JJ, then why are you here talking to me? No stone unturned? Well, who else have you talked to? I mean, you must know about my wife and my daughter. I'm not going to disclose that. I guess Frank, right? Well, even Frank would have mentioned that I was cleared of all this nonsense long before you were ever born. So just why are you here? I'm turning over old rocks, looking for new clues. Well, I'm sorry you wasted your time. Carla, be careful. There's a lot about this case you don't want to uncover. When I started having these dreams, I'd be awake for days. I saw him again last night. But this time, this time he called to me instead of screaming. Nothing scary or upsetting. Thanks. And I woke up. Delilah, I don't... I, what did you find out? What did Frank tell you? I'm not sure it's anything useful. What did he say? He told me that JJ's case won't give us our answers. He thinks that if there are answers, they're gonna be with the first victim, not the latest. If 
Why all of these ifs? Well, Frank told me the pattern is only broken in one place. And that's in the beginning. He wanted me to ask you this, but I'm going to tell you up front. Whatever you decide, I'm with you. What did he want you to ask me? He wants me to look into the original case and see if there's anything I can take from it for this one. How much older is the case? Almost 40 years. 40 years? This is what, twice your age? <sighs> Fuck, it's as old as I am. It's older. What do you think? I think he wasn't lying. I don't think he was just telling me for his own reasons. I mean, I believe that he believes there are answers to be found with her. Her? Rose. Rose Musker was her name. What do you know about it? From what I found out, Rose disappeared in September of 1986. They searched for her for three months before finally calling it off. They had a funeral. Rose's mother disappeared into the same woods as JJ did later that winter, as all the kids did. She jumped off Jagged Peak. Because of the cold, her body wasn't found until later that spring. Rose was never found. Frank and Rose's father are the only people left that know anything. Frank already told me what he knows. Charlie did not. Do you think this is the way? It could be. Okay. I wouldn't have used all my insults if I knew you were coming back. What do you want? You were right. There is nothing in here I don't already know. Okay. I want to take a look at Rose's file. Really? Why? Delilah gave me her blessing. Seems like a better start than nothing. Well, then I guess I'm happy to see you. Now get in here before the neighbors start taking pictures. Like I said, between 10 and 2 a.m. Do we have a motive? Uh, a couple. Uh, there's, there's the flimsiest, which is it was a random robbery gone wrong, but nothing was taken. That's the flimsiness of it. There was also the jilted lover theory. Annie and Charlie were going through a divorce. Nothing was filed. Uh, the idea was that Charlie faked the kidnapping, staged a suicide, and was going to get a rose somehow. Or substitute a jilted lover, same thing. It's got more holes in a fucking Swiss cheese factory, but none of these theories are perfect or we would have figured it out by now. Was there any proof of a paramour? None whatsoever, not a rogue hair. The most probable I can think of is slightly anticlimactic. Insurance. Insurance? Insurance. When my parents died, Annie's and mine, we both got a decent inheritance, plus fairly large insurance policies taken out by our parents. We each got about half a million dollars. Yeah, that's why I have a limp instead of being a paraplegic. On top of that, my parents took out a quarter million dollar insurance policy on Rose and started a college fund. The only problem is nobody profited from it. Charlie got all the money, but he didn't keep it. Wait, what? When Annie disappeared, they had just had Rose's funeral. Long story short, a year later, after we find Annie and he was cleared, he got the better part of a million dollars in his account and puts 95% of it into a living memorial garden over by the police station. He opened it for Rose, but then the September murder started. He let other parents go in free. It was quiet and peaceful. Place for mourning. He didn't mention that. 
You talked to him? Yeah, I stopped in. That's not smart. He'll get skittish. Why would a man with nothing to hide be worried? That's stupidly naive and you know it. Don't go into this like a witch hunt or you'll end up in the same rut as the rest of us. A witch hunt? Who do you think is the first suspect in a case like this? It's the parents. It's the dad. We spent so much time trying to peg it on him that the guy that did it got away. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Just leave him alone? Go to him as an eyewitness, not a suspect. Not the suspect. And say what? What is it about this case that you don't know already? I have no doubt that Charlie knows something we don't. I have no doubt. What that is, is the mystery. If you find out what he knows, it could be the break we need to solve all of it. What? What do you want? Trouble sleeping? I'm not in the mood to be up on your pyre again tonight. I'm not working on JJ's case anymore, Charlie. I told you to stay away from this case. And why is that? Just leave it alone. You know I can't do that, Charlie. And you know I can't help you. And why can't you do that? You can get a paycheck anywhere. It's not how this works. Then it's broken. Do yourselves a favor and just leave. One question. One, and I'm gone. Where did you and Annie live? Why do you ask me a question like that? You can find the answer to that anywhere. Where was my old house? What happened to Annie? When did my daughter die? Look, I know why you're here. And I know what you think I've done. I've spent four decades listening to people who find out about me accusing me of the same thing. I'm telling you one last time, get out. Coffee? You didn't tell me you were sick. What'd you find out? I... He shut down. I tried working him over a bit, but nothing. He told me to fuck off. Why well, did the same thing? Why'd it work for him? He meant it. Want to sit down? I can get you some food. No, <laughs> no, I, I can't. I'm supposed to check in on Delilah. Hey, Dad. Hi. Hi. Carla. Jamie. Huh. I forgot your prescription. 
Vai. Thanks. Your daughter? That's what they keep telling me. Huh. Didn't peg you for a family man. Well, nobody usually pegs me unless I have them sign an NDA. <laughs> I'm no family man. She live nearby? Yep. How old is she? Leave her out. Well, no stone. I don't want you fucking talking to my girl. She's been through enough. And how is that? Well, you're the one feeding me tidbits here. God, fuck. Boy, that temper got anything to do with you not being a family man? Fuck off! Frank. Get the fuck out of my house. Fuck off! The fuck are you doing? I need that contact book. What if I have to call my podiatrist? Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. Ah, 450 Kilner, okay. Uh... Hello? Hi, Jamie? Hi, um, this is Carla. We just met in your father's kitchen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I was wondering if you had some time to talk in person. Why? I'd like to discuss your family's history. Oh, that's right. Charles? Yes, ma'am. Um, no, I can't. Um, how about a little later today? Sure. I'm free about 3 p.m. Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfect. Delilah? diagnosed back in November. What were his options? It doesn't matter. He said no. Yeah, they told him chemo could help, maybe a year and a half. <laughs> they told him the possible side effects, hair and weight loss, nausea, you know. And he told them, I'm not gonna make it any easier for them to stick me in the hearse, let him struggle. And he walked out. Really? That's my dad, in a nutshell. When I first met him, he told me to fuck off and slam the door. Did you come back? Yep. And then he called me a resilient fucking kidney stone. Oh, good. He likes you. <laughs> yeah, well, Delilah told me he'd at least respect me if I was persistent. That Delilah? I'm sorry, I heard she's gone. Gunshot. Self-inflicted? Yep. The gun is registered to her ex-husband, but he's somewhere in the Middle East, so, yeah. You've heard of the pattern, right? One dead mom for every dead child, yeah. It's been that way since Rose disappeared. 
She was your cousin, right? Yeah, I was, I was only two at the time, but it's pretty much been the defining factor of my life. My life, my dad's, my aunt's. That word you used, disappeared. How does everybody else see it? The only ones left are my dad and me, sort of. What about your Uncle Charlie? Mm. We don't really talk. Um, there's a picture of him holding me as a newborn, but besides that, I can't really remember seeing him on purpose before November. When your dad was diagnosed? Yeah, he came to visit. Um, he passed me like you passed me this morning, probably didn't recognize me. Uh, I was heading out, he was heading in. Any idea what was said? You're gonna have to ask my dad. I mean, he's not the most forthwith person in the world. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. How long are you staying in town? Now that Delilah... Well, she paid me for the job. Job's not done, so... Until the money runs out or the case is finished. Trevor comes first. Where are you staying? Airbnb, South Street. The apartment? Mm -hmm. My dad doesn't have much time left. Okay, he's built like a fucking tank, but there's only so long you can fight. And he is losing. How much would it be to keep you here a little longer? And until he passes. I took this case for the wrong reasons. But I'll finish it. Don't worry about the price. This is the closest to being hopeful he's been in a really long time. The truth is, my Uncle Charlie knows exactly where Rose is. Have you felt the cold? I'm gonna ask you to do something that you're gonna regret, but it's gonna make him talk. Take it to Jagged Peak by sunset. I'll see you tomorrow.
saw her, Charlie. I saw Annie, and she was so angry. She showed me everything. I know what you did to Rose. I saw how scared you were, and how you lied to your wife until the day she died about it. She's not going to stop. Not until you admit what you did. Not until you confess. I never meant to hurt her. I've never forgiven myself. Where is she? Where is Rose?